In this episode, we drop into Dogleg Creek and get a little fuel, have lunch at Cockatoo Island before working our way to the top of Crocodile Creek to tie up no regrets at the base of the falls. We're just coming up to Coolan Island. We're just getting ready. We're going to sit here around this corner of Iron Island, um, ready so we can catch the tide through the passage. So, and the passage is just in front of us, but the tide is too strong for us to try getting through. I get it. Oh, iron it's all sort of ready brown and it's all made of iron. Yeah. That's what there's an iron iron mine on the northern Isle. So it must be the same. Mm. So we're just going through the canal um, just under um, Gulen Island. We've got to, um, we can only do it when the, the tide's the right direction, otherwise you've got too much against you. It's hard to quite show the size of this gap. This is this side of the boat, just that's how much you've got. So it's 42 metres here at the moment. And I'll show the other boats coming through because they might be able to get the perspective of the size of it. And this gets whirlpools in here when it turns around the corner. I think if you came at the wrong time, it could be quite interesting. Just going past Coolan Island and the big open cut iron ore mine. It's a pretty big open operation, this um, mine. It's huge. We're just coming up to Dogleg Creek where you can get fuel from a barge. And as you can see, it's just tucked around this corner. I didn't even see it from a distance. Morning. We're at the Dogleg Creek this morning. Um, we're okay on boat fuel. The, the sea wind sailed beautifully. And we've kept a bit of fuel in the tank, so we've got enough to make room. So we're going to wait for there. But we're just uh, a bit short on dinghy fuel. We would have probably liked to bring an extra 40, 60 litres. So we're just picking up Layla. He's doing the same. Just a bit of dinghy fuel. He carry plenty, and then we're just going to go in and fuel up the other boat that just needs a little bit. That's the ultimate crab bait. Yeah, you caught it. He, he jumped on your boat, did he? Yeah, it's a bit of suicide. Suicide fishy. I have to sign in on the cushion. Suicide on the cushion. I caught him. And he's stinky and oily. Oh, he's a real it's oily amazing. fish. Because I could hear right. this noise. Yeah, stick it right up the front there. Oh, no, it, oh, stick it on the floor. Then we can wash Oh, okay, wherever. It's in there now. Yeah, it's so stinky. It's crazy, this, this is the fuel station out here. It's just a floating barge. So this is the fuel station out in nowhere. Out in the Kimberleys. It's a boat with a barge behind it. And that's it. Just heading up to Cockatoo Island. Um, we're hoping to go to, they've got a little resort here we can have, hope to have lunch at. Quite excited. we just um, be nice just to go somewhere there's other people and things to do. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna put some of that. So 
we're at Cockatoo Island and we're just walking to the resort. There's the water on that side and there's the water on that side. Skinny, skinny island. That is so cool. Town Square. So this is the resort. <laughs> It's really cool, it's nice and tidy. It's got a pool, we should have got our What's this bay in here, do you reckon? How deep do you reckon? It's about five at the moment. By entering on an incoming tide and near the top of the tide to get sufficient depth, you position yourself ready for the tide to go back out, leaving you stranded in the deep pool at the base of the falls. Oh, I can come put it down now, Joe. Spin the front away again. Alright, Joe, I'll give you this blue rope. Just tie it because we're going to back up on it. And you'll have to tie it to that front cleat. You alright? Alright, oh, I'm just going to spin the boat back again. Beautiful reversing. So we're tying off so we stay in the middle. Put the tender out to go to the rock out the side. Pete's looped off the front and then we'll run some other lines. There's crazy Nathan on a jet ski. <laughs> oh my god, look how excited that is. From a jet ski it, um, delivery. Oh no, jet ski. Uber jet ski. And it's got a fridge. How cool is that? <laughs> god, I had more fruit beds than ours. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nathan. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! 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 There you go. Woo! Go on, you gotta blow it out. Blow it out. Well, then we. Splashes are on the way. Water bottles. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Bye. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bloody jet skis. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Eats us to go. How's it getting past? On the side here. All right, you ready? Now yeah, listen. Oh, there she goes. You go with it, you'll see it better. Yep. Here she comes. <laughs> now you're sounding like a 10 year old boy. It takes one half to stop a waterfall. Hey, your finger in the hole, stop it there. Come on! Make sure you tell Brian that you are using your thumb to block your thumbnail. 
All right, I've just got the top video of them of them blocking the water, and now I'm going to go down and see the water come. You can lift your ass now, Pete. What a difference one butt makes. Yeah. And they're all scouring the hill there for some clear quartz crystals. With the tide almost back in, it was time to head out and anchor in slightly deeper water. So we're just untying all our ropes, ready, ready to go. leaving the waterfall. I'm actually towing the tender this time, only because we've got to get it back in the water. And there she goes. I'm four we got to. That's a deep size, I don't know what this one is. You've missed this side easily. You've got plenty of room on this side. And you've got rocks on that side. Oh no, fresh pineapple, thanks to Nathan. Oh. Now you got remember you gotta stay on this side for that rock. 1.6. 1 1.5. 1 1.4. 1 <laughs> what was that lost? 1.2. 1.2. Not much.
if I can see any more. Yeah, you will. Let's get him. <laughs> 